Hi everybody, welcome back to Our Groovy Life. So Gabby and I have been doing a lot of beefy sticks lately. Tonight we're going to do kind of what we had left over. Yeah. Uh, so there isn't any rhyme or reason to them whatsoever except that they are all still... Ones that we want to taste. Very high-end, high-quality beefy sticks. And yeah, as Gabby just said, ones that we do want to taste. But these are the last ones, so they didn't really fit. They're not hot. They're not in what we've been doing lately. They're just really this is the good misfits. misfit beefy <laughs> sticks. Hate to put it that way, but it's real. So we've got the beef sausage snacks from Hickory Farms. Uh, Hickory Farms is always a good one. Two brand, two uh, different ones from the Righteous Felon Craft Jerky. So there's a habanero beef stick. And there's a barbecue beef stick. Now, it could be that we should have tried this one with some of the other hot ones that we did. And I maybe... I going to ask that. If we yeah. did, if the packages that we had were the Righteous Films, I'm pretty sure the Carolina Reaper and... Yeah, the, um, I don't know that they were, but a lot, and it could very well be that we should have done this one. Because a lot of the habanero beefy sticks and hot beefy sticks we've been having lately really aren't hot. So maybe this one would have fit better if it's hot. I don't know. We've never had it before. But it just happened to be the one. These are the four that are left over and that one happened to fit. Also very high end. Um, the Green Ridge Farms Naturals beef, beef Snack Sticks. Now this label is kind of loose because it actually <laughs> comes with two packs of these in there. So there's a lot of beefy stick yes. for the money in these. Today we're not even going to have one. This we tested, but I wanted to see what we have. So Green Ridge Farms Natural Beef Snack Sticks. And they call this uh, Small Batch. So it's their Small Batch Formula. So uh, I didn't apparently, see big batches. yeah, we got eight of them this big. <laughs> so apparently, we got all of the small batch. Yeah. So uh, we're going to give these a shot. I'm imagining they're all going to be fabulous. fabulous. But, uh, yes, here we go. Okay. All right. So first one up is the Hickory Farms Beef <laughs> sausage, sausage Stick. That guy right there. Right away, you can tell there's a lot of fat in it. That you smells like bacon. It. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of fat. Mm. That smells like bacon. Mm -hmm. It's a great beefy stick, but these always remind me years and years and years ago, Hickory Farms, when they would set up, they still do, I believe, set up their, their booths around Christmas in uh, various malls. Mm. But they used to have just a beautiful dryer beefy stick they would they would just set it out it wasn't a package or anything and you'd buy it by the foot so it was a nice dry beefy stick it was kind of pepperoni ish yeah it was just phenomenal okay I like the but they had a name for it it was had something like pepperoni was the name for it. pepper but anyway it had a name like that and they were phenomenal but they stopped making them years ago I like the drier ones yeah Not I would so much the that. moist ones I know we've had these ones and you know, yeah. just on our casual time, I know we've had these ones on Bloody Marys, and I haven't been too much of a fan of them, but yeah. by themselves, they're a, a little bit better. I don't like them so much. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Excuse me. So it makes me sneeze. <laughs> so you're allergic to Hillshire Farms products. Hickory don't Farms. Don't Hickory Farms products. So, yeah, I'm with Gabby. I, I, my beefy sticks I prefer are always more dry beefy yeah. sticks, and in fact, quite often, when we buy wet beefy sticks, I try to take a little bit of time, at least in the refrigerator, and let them set and dry out a little bit. Oh, does that dry them out? Yeah, because oh. the, the refrigerator will suck moisture out of things. We can also put them into the dehydrator, which we have, but I don't do that. I don't go that far, but it's always best to me to have them a little bit drier, too. All right, so the spicy one from Righteous Felons. We know we love Righteous Felons, so I imagine this beefy stick. We love their jerky. It smells sweet already. Is this a habanero one? Spicy habanero beef and pork stick. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's got, I won't even say a zip, I'll say a z. Yeah, there's... There's not a lot of heat to that one. No, there's not a lot of heat to that one. It's just enough to give it a little bit of a flavor, but it's not like... Oh, I can't breathe kind of flavor yeah. like I've had in the past with some flavors. Yeah, I think you're right. They definitely use the habanero as a flavor additive rather than as a heat additive. Yep. You can taste habanero, 
Yeah. But it's not there to, to kick your butt. That's definitely a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But absolutely. you can definitely taste the habanero. Okay. Righteous Felon Barbecue. Mm. This one looks Sweet like Sweet and tangy. Different. Beef and pork sick. This is like the darkest one. Mm -hmm. Well, I, if there's any barbecue type sauce in it, there should be. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, they look kind of similar. That's, That's definitely... nummy. Mm. You don't like it? I think it's nummy. It's too sweet for me. Well, it's got some barbecue sauce going on for sure. I know. But I like this sweet compared to the barbecue sweet. Well, this is Personally. more... Yeah, I, mean, I think you're right. This habanero would be more of a natural sweet. This would be more of a sugary yeah. sweet. Yeah. I mean, it, this one is not terrible. But... I think I, I prefer that one more. Yeah. Well, I, I agree, but I, I think this is really tasty. I would buy that one again. That's nice. I, I would say that they're both tasty, Good. but yeah. yeah. All right, last one is the Green Ridge Farms. All, All right. natural. Is this one spicy or anything? Or is I think it's just a beefy stick. It's just fancy. 100% beef. It smells super smoky. You don't smell things like I do. I smell drinks. I don't usually smell food. Oh, I smell food. There's a lot of fat in this one. There's fat in this one. There's definitely fat in it. A lot of fat. Okay, so this is one, as we were just mentioning earlier, of it's really high quality product. You can taste it. But this is one, like we were mentioning earlier, what I would take it maybe because they're so big and put them personally, like in the dehydrator and get rid of some of the, yeah. uh, get rid of some of the moisture that's in them. It kind of tastes like a really fancy hot dog, but crunchier. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the, I mean, like I said, I didn't even really look at it. I smelled it, but I, There's a lot I don't of know. There was a lot of crunchiness for me in the fat area. Okay. I don't like that one as much. Ooh, they're really, 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 really high-end product. You can taste it. Their flavor is great, but yeah. they they just need to me to me. They need a snap. They need to maybe that maybe that's what it is because like whenever you crunch into it, you can really tell that there's like that there's the fat in there. Yeah. But if you make it like how we make jerky at home, where it's like that crunchier and you, right. you know. It, right. It, just it would needs, be a little better. Yeah, it just needs to. It's it's it's, it's a, too soft. Yeah, it's a it's too a soft. it's got a lot of moisture in it, just like yeah. Bakery Farms does. These guys don't, right? And uh, and a lot of beefy sticks you get that are just they're just more dry. They have less moisture. This has a lot of moisture, but the taste is amazing. The taste is amazing. So the taste is good. Yeah. So out of this, I would say, um, it kind of like to do the same thing with the Hickory Farms. There's just so much moisture in it. Mm -hmm. um, taste is great. These, a lot of moisture in it. Phenomenal. If I had made these, I would be really proud of myself, but then I would go back to my family and my wife and say, let me let me dry kick them up one more dry. notch yeah. because you'll like them better if I do this. And I would dry them. Great flavor yeah. though, absolutely. I and I would them. say again, Righteous Felon guys, um, and gals, I'm not really sure who makes up the company, but you, you guys. I don't think they got it going I don't think, on. I don't think we've ever awesome. been disappointed with that righteous no, smell. Because that's the one we had the Carolina Reaper and the Ghost Pepper and yeah. the Habanero. Yeah. And don't quote me on this, but I think a barbecue one. So the Righteous Felons yeah, have the Righteous Felon been is just phenomenal. They're awesome. They're jerky. Family. Their jerky was, it's whole muscle jerky. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Yeah. Even my wife liked the jerky. Yeah. And these, and eat that. these are nice and low moisture. Flavor is terrific. So um, overall, overall great. Um, you Delicious. boys and girls here, right to spell it again. I don't know who, who runs the company. I, I imagine there's some of each uh, gender there. Great. But uh, you guys always have a great product. Absolutely. And uh, mm -hmm. we would love to. Uh, Try more of your stuff. Yes. So uh, I think there's a few flavors we haven't tried yet. There are a few flavors we haven't tried yet, but we will. So again, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you soon.